Gilterio Sapanta or Little Dado. He first won the uh, World Bantamweight title in 1940 and then went down a weight division and claimed the uh, North America Boxing Federation, which is the precursor of the uh, World Boxing Association. Okay? Yan po si Little Dado, the first two weight division champion from the Philippines during the pre-war, before World War II. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ngayong araw, ipapakilala namin sa inyo kung sakaling hindi po niyo kilala, one of the great Filipino champions. Uh, naging world champion, syempre. Ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito, diretso na, Dodi Boy Peñalosa, si Diyos Dado. Siya po yung anak. Diba? Ngayon, uso yung sinasabi na Let's confuse this generation. Wag, wag. Instead of confusing this generation, let us enlighten this generation and tell you kung gaano kagaling itong si Dobby Boy Peñalosa the Senior. Pati ko kumpara doon sa dalawang anak niya, sorry to say, si Junior at saka si Dave, eh malayo po doon sa ama. And here is a glimpse of the greatness of one Dobby Boy Peñalosa Senior. <laughs> We take a look at Dodi Boy Peñalosa and this fight against Jay Hung Kim. This is a first defense of his IBF light flyweight title that he won in 1983. Just how good is this fighter who reigned as the first uh, Filipino to have won the IBF light flyweight crown? The referee forced to call the ringside physician to check on Jay Hong Kim because obviously he has been on the receiving end of those sharp shots Dodi continues to stalk with his uh, sharp right jab. Actually, hindi na huyan uh, jab. Eh, no? parang, parang straight na huyan eh. And then he goes and digs to the body, forcing ito pong uh, Korean to retreat to a corner. And he will plead to the corner to just put an end to this fight. But the corner tells him to fight on. And here, Dodi Boy Peñalosa with the finishing touches. Tignan nyo, hindi bara-bara. Hindi katulad ng mga karamihan na boksingero na parang sinasampal ang kalaban. And here, the Korean corner forced to throw in the towel. Look at the mess that uh, ito pong si J. Hung Kim has been reduced to. Ayan, ang first successful defense. So, Dodi Boy Peñalosa, the senior, taking this fight via technical knockout and defending for the first time his IBF light flyweight crown. Tapos, no, habang nagkakaroon po sila ng uh, celebration, a commotion actually ensued in the corner of Jay Hong Kim. Apparently, Jay Hong Kim had collapsed. Oh, ayan, nakikita nyo. He collapsed on the sheer volume of punches he received from Donny Boy Peñalosa. We move to the next fight na featured natin si Dodi Boy Peñalosa pa rin po Ah, ito It's an excellent fight against Shin Hisu This is for the uh, IBF World Flyweight Crown A fight held ayun, nakita po niya yung date no? February 22, 1987 Si Shin Hisu is a lefty just like uh, Dodi Boy and he is more mobile kumpara do sa first nating napanood who decided to go toe to toe with uh, Dodi Boy. Yan ang number one na hindi nyo gagawin. One thing you don't do against Dodi Boy Peñalosa is to fight toe to toe with him. 
Kasi it will be a short night if you do so. To pick up natin yung laban in round number 5. The first uh, four rounds, no? sige, stalking, probing. But here, in this round, everything turns to the side of the Filipino. Pero, I don't know, one thing that uh, we want to point out is, have you noticed an anomaly in Dodi Boy Peñalosa? We, we've already talked about this uh, before, pero there actually is anomaly in Dodi Boy Peñalosa's legs. No? Alam nyo naman that he suffered as a kid no? from uh, polio, and he has one leg shorter and thinner than the other. No? Yung kanya pong... Uh, Left leg, kung mapapansin nyo, is uh, thinner, shorter. So he walks with a limp. Pero in this fight, no, despite yung uh, mobility nito pong si Shin Hisu, si Dodi Boy is able to control the ring. Yun yung importante. And look at that spearing right jab. Hindi na nga po siya jab. No? Something na trademark ng mga Peñalosa. No? Something that itong si Jerry also taught me. Yung job mo, you should use it not just as defense, no? pang opensa din ang sinasabi. And here, Dodi Boy Peñalosa applying those body shots. Isa pang trademark ng mga Peñalosa, yung pagbayo sa katawan, no? those body shots, isa trademark. Ayan, no, tignan nyo, successive shots to the body of Shin Hisu. And this is a point where he will finally say adios look at, look at the relentlessness of Dodi Boy Peñalosa knocking down itong si Shin Hisu but look at Shin Hisu getting up knowing that he is against an equally dangerous opponent he shows his fighting heart pero not enough the referee comes in and says enough is enough no, saving itong si Shin Hisu from, from further damage. And the jubilation of Dodi Boy Peñalosa as he takes the IBF World Flyway title February of 1987. It will be the second of two weight division titles that he would win in his great career. So ano yung anomaly? Have you noticed the anomaly? So nga, itong laban na to held 1987 and there is the great Dodi Boy Peñalosa. Ano yung impact ni Dodi Boy Peñalosa sa boxing, sa Philippine boxing? And maybe sa, sa ating mga Pilipino. Yun yung pag-usapan natin as uh, another Korean has fallen victim to the vicious shots of a Dodi Boy Peñalosa si Jos Dado ito ibibigay ang uh, belt one of two world title belts or one of two belts earned by the great Dodi Boy Peñalosa para si Impa ito ang Impa alam ba ninyo na si Dodi Boy Peñalosa could have qualified as a Physically challenged, or yung tinatawag nila, alam ko, hindi ito politically correct term, but as a disabled fighter. Eh, wala namang boxing for the disabled, di ba? Siya disabled, bakit? May polio siya sa kaliwang paa. Pero hindi niya ho yan ginamit as an excuse. In fact, he used his, what people would term as a disability or physical challenge to be able to become a two-division world champion. Imagine nyo, two weight divisions with polio in all, yan po ang hindi nakapag-prevent kay Dodi Boy Peñarosa Sr. in his march towards greatness. So, bago natin makalimutan ang mga great champions natin of the past, yan po, a look back at one of the greatest champions we have had. Ang pangalan po niya, si Dodi Boy Peñarosa.